to the Alaska VA's African American History Month celebration. In honor of Black History Month, the Clark Informers would like to enlighten, enrich, empower, and educate you by highlighting some sacred locations that promote awareness of and appreciation for the historical accomplishments of Africans America. I want to thank these young people again for informing us. Yeah. You know, for them to be able to remember this information and, 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 and to be able to give it to us the way they do is truly wonderful. It makes my heart smile. The Tuskegee University was part of an expansion of education for blacks in the South following the U.S. Civil War. They always bring educational material that myself included learn from and appreciate. Today is a really fun event. It's an annual event that we promote with our business partner Northwood ABC and the Iditarod. And it's kind of fun and unique because um, the kid, it's called the Mush to the Millennium. We're a Millennium Hotel. And the kids from Northwood ABC are the dogs and pull local celebrities on the sleds and mush over to the Millennium. And then they sing Alaska songs like the Alaska Flag song, North to Alaska. And then we um, serve them hot chocolate and cookies. It's super cute. It's really fun. It's a nice, fun um, Alaskan event for the kids. And it's great for the locals and all the people that are putting on the Iditarod staying in house right now. We have 90 Alaskans year-round working here, and they want to give back to their community and their schools. And I made my first cuss book all on my own. SAVE has a partnership with the Alaska Native Heritage Center that began about five years ago. That partnership has allowed us to offer what we call exploratory classes to our students. Elders from the Heritage Center come over and teach classes in cuss book making, beading, drum making, We've done Alaska Native Youth Olympic Games. So a whole variety of experiences for our students that they wouldn't normally have the opportunity to have. Two years ago, we had a young man that moved in from a village. And his whole village was actually smaller than the population of our school. And he had started out in one of our large Big 8 high schools and really struggled with the size of the building. And he came into school here and was very, very quiet, um, almost invisibly quiet. And he came in to the first exploratory session and sat in the far corner of the room all by himself. And it happened to be the session where we were doing drumming. And by the end, he was sitting in between the two elders with his drum, drumming with them. And he, from that point on, he made his ratings. He was successful. He actually started taking after-school classes in art, the arts at the Heritage Center because of the relationships he started here and graduated from high school. And I'm truly not sure. I think we would have gotten him there eventually, but by breaking down those barriers so early when he first joined us, it made a huge difference in his ability to be successful in a city school, in a city environment. It's important for all companies in Anchorage to be involved in some way or at some level with their community. It shows our students that the community cares about them and that people that they don't even know want to see them be successful in school. For me, it's all about relationships. I think it's important no matter which organization you work for, uh, federal agencies like the VA included, that we reach out and we form these relationships uh, with our education partners and really serve to provide them with inspiration as far as you know their future careers. So I think it's, uh, it really feels good that we do that.